What's going on, guys? Fully from Custom Office. Custom Office TV on YouTube. We got Dustin back for another episode of this or that. This? this or that. This or that. Yeah. I forget which video <laughs> we're doing all the time. So uh, that means Keaton's going to ask us questions. We're going to answer them, and I think we can jump right into it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have this cool hoodie. Oh yeah. It. Dustin and I are wearing matching clothes today because we're both excited about the brand new giveaway. They just launched at customosses.com forward slash giveaway. Check it out. Third gen Tundra or current F-150? I'm going F-150. I love the new F-150s. I think they look great. And the Raptor's technically considered an F-150. Well, I, in, in the first generation, it was F-150 Raptor. And now I think they're actually calling it its own thing. So I'm uh, not, right. gonna, not gonna lean towards that, <laughs> but I actually, I don't know. I really like the way the new F-150s look. Mm -hmm. I think the update they did with the grill, I think it was 18 or 19 maybe. I think that improved the look of the front end significantly and I really like it a lot more. The Tundra is obviously, I'm a big fan of Toyota. It's a very capable truck if you get the DRD packages and everything like that. But I think for just an all around truck, it can be good as a show build, it can be good as an off road build, it can be good at everything. I think I'm gonna pick F-150. Yeah, beautiful trucks. And they're making an electric one. I'm interesting to, interested to see how that goes over. Yeah, it. we'll see. Built Hummer or Built Tahoe? Uh, I have always wanted a old school Hummer, an H1 Hummer, mm -hmm. or a Humvee. I'd probably just get a Humvee because you can buy them on auction for cheap now. Yeah. And I would feel, uh, I wouldn't feel anything if, if I hit stuff and go over <laughs> So I'm gonna go with the Hummer. If it's an H2, no. If it's an H3, no. But if it's an H1, then I would take the Hummer over the Tahoe. Yeah, that's legit. I mean, especially like if you look at the Humvee platform, they're pretty wild to begin with. Yeah. And then just to be able to run it through anything Super you slow, want to. very yeah. slow. <laughs> Can't get out of its own way. Yeah. With that being said though, I think I'm gonna go the other side. I think I would go Tahoe. Tahoe, just, you get a much nicer interior. Yeah, and there's something about just the GM platform trucks in general that I've always enjoyed. I mean, they had the 5.3 for a number. I don't know if they're still getting the 5.3. You can get it. You can get one with a 6.2, I believe. Ooh. And back in the day, you used to be able to get a six liter yep. in them. Yeah. The high output gas engine. But yeah, I mean, the LS engine has always been a solid option, yeah. right? So, yeah. And people do cool things with them. You, mm -hmm. you can either lift them, even like a mild lift on those looks pretty sharp. You get like six inches or taller, then they're, they're big and they get kind of sway. -y. So I usually avoid heavy. that, yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, on the opposite end of things, you throw in some 24-inch, uh, you know, dub ballers, and you Bring lower it, it a little bit. It looks really nice. Mandy's truck is stock height, and it's got 24-inch dub ballers on it. It looks great. It's great, yeah. It looks awesome. Literally nothing done but bolting on wheels. So, <laughs> cool. Any body style, any engine, go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. C10. LS3, mm. twin turbo. If you can, if if I can pick that, if, if I can add twin turbos to the LS3, um, or I guess I could just pick, I could pick like a LSA and put it in a C10. So super because that's charged. got the supercharger. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go dent side. Mm -hmm. Twelve valve. Oh. Six speed. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be, sick That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Little lift, not a big like a four inch. You know, something super practical. Hook it to a trailer. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's a good question. I like that one. Yeah, a little different. Expensive build, cheap truck, or cheap build, expensive truck? You know, you can actually get away with a pretty inexpensive build on a nice truck, and it's going to look the same as if you spend a lot of money on the build too. Mm -hmm. Like there's, like I've done a ton of videos on like the best, you know, wheels under a thousand bucks, you know, lift kits, you know, under X amount of dollars, and it, like with Rough Country out there now with their, their coilover system is only two grand. Yeah, the Vertex kits. It's yeah. very affordable. And that's coilovers. If you want just a regular lift kit, it's like a thousand bucks. I think I would go with a nicer vehicle. It's gonna, you know, be in better shape, be more reliable, nicer interior features as far as like daily drivability. And then just, you can slowly build it over time. So if you start off with an inexpensive build, you know, some cheaper wheels, cheaper tires, cheaper lift, you want to switch it out, you can always upgrade. Yep. I guess it depends on what you're gonna do with it, right? If you're looking for a daily, that's definitely the move, mm -hmm. I think. If you're looking for just like a show truck, I take a lot of pride in finding something that isn't super expensive and making it what you want it, you know? So be that an older truck or just a less expensive option overall and then sticking the money into it to make it everything you wanted it to be. So I'm until gonna go that you, way. Until you try to sell it. I know, that's you never get the money part back. About if you buy a, a cheap, 
vehicle and then put all this money into the build, you will never get yeah. what you put into it. But that's don't just, that's just part of the, how it goes. I think you and I probably both know that. <laughs> <first hand. laughs> yeah, both of us have vehicles in the garage that we are far too invested <laughs> in. <laughs> yep, that are, that are never going to sell. Never. We'll have those till we die. Oops. Okay. Pre-runner Avalanche or Show Build Titan? Pre-runner Avalanche. Wow, you know, that would be kind of unique. Yeah, you don't see a lot of those. I think it'd be cool, though, because the Avalanche has that, like, that cowling right, piece it's in got, the back. It's got, like, the Razorback. Mm, yeah, Razorback. Uh, that's the word I'm looking for. I don't know if that's what GM officially called it, but that's I what think, I'm going to call it. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, it almost has, like, the and like the chase rack kind of look, you know, yeah, where yeah, you yeah. throw a couple spare tires back there, and that would look pretty sick. However... I'm gonna go with the Titan show build because you don't see a lot of them, but mm -hmm. the ones that I have seen, there was one at SEMA, I, I think it was last year, um, absolutely massive, and they have that that Titan, it's like a not a half ton, but not a three quarter ton, but you can get it with the Cummins. In oh, it. the XD, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make those look pretty sick, and not a lot of people have them, so yep. when you do see it, you're like, okay, wow, that's different and unique. Granted, a pre-runner Avalanche would also be quite different and unique. Yeah. I'm gonna go the same direction on this one. I like the idea. <laughs> he just takes her leg around the court. Yeah, it's fine. Um, anyway, I like the idea of um, of like a Titan XD build, just because, mm -hmm. like you said, you don't see a lot of them, and they're just they're just beautiful trucks inside and out. Um, and the fact that you can get a Cummins in it is also pretty neat. Pretty neat. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. <laughs> How neat is that? That's pretty neat. <laughs> Would you rather have a maid or a personal chef? Ah. Oh man. Housekeeper. This one's easy. I actually really enjoy cooking. Oh, that's yeah, that's so, true. So, um, I wouldn't want somebody to make my own meals for me because I like cooking. I do not like doing the dishes, <laughs> uh, holding the laundry, holding the laundry, right? Vacuuming my floors, all of that stuff. That's why I make Emily do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I enjoy cooking, so I would I would rather have a, a housekeeper for sure. Yeah, I would do the same thing. Um, I love to cook as well. Uh, I think Gretchen can attest to the fact that I am terrible at folding laundry. I'm one of those guys that like does laundry and then it's seven to 14 business days before it's folded. That's what I was telling her too. She's like, can you fold the laundry? I was like, honestly, I'm, no, I'm not any good at it. You should just do it. No. <laughs> so yeah, I would, uh, I would do the same thing. Um, I like to cook, but I don't like to clean. So that'd be perfect. But a personal chef could probably cook better than I can. Not yeah, to do my own horn. I'm pretty decent. But... I put on enough weight already. I don't need somebody <laughs> to be true. cooking better meals for me. Well, maybe they could cook more healthy meals for you. I could use a little bit of that myself. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's another episode of This or That. Thank you guys for asking all the questions. If you want something else answered, drop it in the comments below, whether that be a this or that, or a, like, I love the uh, any engine. Yeah, any that's chassis. super cool. That was cool. We'll do more stuff like that, too. So uh, drop any of your questions that you have in the comments below. Otherwise, check out us on the internet, customhousesits.com, wheels, tire, suspension. We got giveaways. We got we got everything. We got all the things. Here's an easy. I know how much Keaton there. hates like, this. No, so that's why I did it. <laughs> we're not gonna do it. A small now one. Now you here. have to do it. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Bye.